Good afternoon, YouTube. This is EconCat88, and I'm in downtown Toledo, Ohio, Memorial Day weekend. No game, no concert, equals ghost town. And this is a locally owned bar that recently closed. It's been, used to be called Players Bar, and I think it was something else before that. Of course, a lot of these places opened because of high hopes resulting from these places such as the Huntington Center, which is pretty much empty uh, the majority of the year outside of hockey season. And this is your normal traffic pattern downtown on weekends when there are not any games or concerts. So. Really, it'd be hard to expect to for anybody to be able to make money in here. So you can see the bar closed, but it says opening soon. New owner, new menu, new look. Guess what? New owner, new menu, new look, same result. It will close again because it's just not feasible to operate a business in this type of a dead zone. But well, that doesn't stop Toledoans with their high hopes for this uh, downtown slash warehouse district area. Although this is not technically part of the warehouse district, it is adjacent to it. Right here in the ground floor of the Commodore Perry. Which is another venue that uh, received a great amount of uh, boondoggle in order to be built. Somebody is going to open up a wine bar or some type of a bar restaurant here and they say they're going to be open. I believe it's next month, so it's another one I do not expect to do well, unfortunately. Over here is a place called Registry Bistro, but they're not open on Sundays and I don't believe they're open on Mondays either. And who can really blame them because just isn't much going on here. You can see the Commodore Perry is a high-rise apartment building, but you know, despite these residential units, where are the people is what I want to know. And you go on the local Toledo blogs and forums and read some of my videos, the comments in some of my videos, and some of these folks that live these downtown dwellers, they will, they will call me just about every negative name you can think of, saying that I'm hurting downtown and I'm hurting Toledo. And look, I'm not hurting anything. I'm just reporting the truth. You folks are so uh, outdoorsy and you want dog parks and you want bike lanes and all kinds of stupid stuff that other people are going to be paying for, but yet, where are you? Come out from your deep slumber. So anyway, I feel sorry for these poor suckers that are going to be open in this place because they aren't going to make it. And it's almost like the downtown bar and restaurant scene is setting itself up for a perfect storm because they keep floating these things about the Berdan building and oh Pro Medica is going to relocate its headquarters down here and while if those things do happen they are good news for downtown as a matter of fact this used to be a bar years ago and it's been closed for so long geez that's been probably more than a decade ago. Surprised somebody doesn't try to re reopen that. And I don't really think that Pro Medica coming down here or the Berdan building uh, being completed, which still is kind of an if. It's at the stage, I'll believe it when I see it. They say it's supposed to, the construction is supposed to begin uh, later this year. We'll see. I'm not from Missouri, but 
folks, they're going to have to show me. And for my overseas subscribers like the, uh, I know there's a lot of Chinese folks that uh, watch my videos, so the reason why I said that is because Missouri is called the show me state, just so you know. So the old Huntington Center, pretty much a ghost town all summer long. So now we're on the corner of Huron and uh, Jefferson. Oh, there's somebody on a bicycle. And I'll make this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this here because I've already covered this area several times, but you can just see this is what it normally looks like on a weekend when there aren't any concerts or games going on. This is Econ K88 signing off from downtown Toledo, Ohio. Ground zero of the American economic collapse. Please subscribe, please comment. Thank you for watching.